and six-time world champion. We join the players in the second frame of the snooker, where Cliff Thorburn is in the lead, Rex Williams is your commentator, Alan Gregory is referee. Foul and a miss for Cliff Thorburn. And uh, referee Alan Gregory not uh, satisfied with the attempt that uh, Steve made to get out of the snooker. Of course, there is a big target, plenty of reds there, but he's trying to just get into one particular spot to keep it safe. And uh, the ball has been replaced. Cliff Thorburn has had it put back. That will be another miss. Foul, five to Cliff Thorburn and a miss. Always gives a miss, the referee, when they're playing out of a snook and they hit an intervening ball. And the red also got moved, so that must be just replaced. Well, the light goes behind a brown. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this time uh, a better shot that's where you play to get in the first place <laughs> the reason for the missed rule is that uh, the rules do state that a player mustn't get an advantage <laughs> in a fast stroke and uh, the referee wasn't satisfied with the attempt that uh, Steve made it cost him four points each time for the foul Cliff Thorburn, 78, Steve the, Davis, uh, 31. The opposing player can ask the referee to replace the ball. Touching ball. And uh, he's got out of this one pretty well. Touching ball, so <coughs> Cliff can play away. Uh, he will be deemed to have struck the red ball. And Cliff making sure that he got the uh, cue ball towards the left-hand side of the table, as you see it on the bulk, because it would have been an easy safety shot off the pack of reds on the other side, but a little bit more difficult now because there are reds near the side of the table which he could collide with when playing a safety shot. Didn't play to knock that second red quite as far. But I don't think uh, Steve can get through to it. There is a red that will pop, but uh, not worth the risk.
and uh, Cliff could be in a little bit of trouble here. And force the error from Bourbon there. I think he can just get through to this red. Seven. Eight. Not easy to sort these out. Can't get the black uh, back into operation. Uh. That's a bad shot. 14. Nice 14 break. Play to come round off uh, two cushions there to leave the red, which is near the black spot, but uh, didn't intend to make contact with the other red. 14, Steve Davis. Steve Davis, 45. <laughs> So a good chance there for Steve, and he'll be uh, disappointed not to have made more. Cracking shot. One. Six. And there you see a good picture that red will just go through the gap. That's a good shot. Seven. Play to leave the blue into the centre pocket, but he still got it into the corner. He can screw back and get onto one of the other reds. Twelve. Just overdone it a little bit. Another good shot. 13. Unlucky with the kiss.
could take the yellow one with the rest, but it will come, be coming down the right-hand side of the table. Can't see him getting on a red uh, from that side. Played with a stun and trying to get a lot of power into it, but it was really asking a lot. But the red, which is near the black spot, or the red just above the black, I think will go into the corner pocket, and he can play a safety shot from that shot, so it's really a shot to nothing. If he misses it, he should not leave anything. Just needs seven points. The red just above the black is the one that he'll be playing for. Fifteen, Cliff Thorburn. Cliff Thorburn, 93, Steve Davis, 45. And again, uh, Cliff faced with a difficult position. <laughs> well, play to make the finest of contact, but uh, he hasn't left anything. So, Cliff Thorburn needing seven points to be the first to 100 in the snooker discipline. Just requires the pink. Seven so in the snooker, the it's Cliff Thurban who takes the snooker by 100 points to 45. A great victory there for Cliff Thorburn and a good start to the match, 100 points to 45. We go now to the billiards where Steve Davis has taken the lead, 51 points to three, Cliff Thorburn to shoot with the yellow ball. No. <laughs> nice little touch there. He would have lost the red behind ball. Three. I had to work long and hard to think about that one. <coughs>
should be playing a little cannon off the cushion here, just to not push the white too far, and just push the red out into the table. It wasn't too easy there. He played to leave the in off into the centre pocket. Aye. But uh, the angle was a little bit awkward on the red. I think you'll have to play a follow through now to get that. Otherwise, it's a very thin uh, contact. Well, he decided to uh, Ten. pot his opponent's ball and take a few points off the red. This is a 13. half ball in off now. Go. 16. Hasn't brought the red back up the table far enough. It'd be better to force the in off into the uh, centre pocket rather than try and play this long one because uh, if you're not an expert at this type of shot, uh, it's very difficult. about this game. 19. <coughs> Didn't play quite hard enough to bring the red round the table, but the, the bed of the table is a bit slow, so the players are having difficulty at both billiards and snooker. Nineteen. That's okay. Four, then. <laughs> Left the Steve enough, Davis, uh, fifty-one. Cliff Thorburn, twenty-two. It would be difficult for Steve Davis to score many from this position with the red lying in such an awkward position. Davis, two. Steve Davis, 53. Cliff Thorburn, 22. Yep. Good chance of getting the in-off red here. He's got to play out of bulk. It's what we call a double bulk in billiards. But uh, Steve has left that red a little nearer the corner pocket than he intended, I feel sure. And Possible to get the in off. We have to force it. We have to use a fair bit of power here. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I could hear it. 
which has gone deteriorate now. It's gone to sleep. <laughs> I'm not sure if you picked that remark up, but Kip's then. I wish you'd hear Rex's commentary here. That was the only way he could play it. He was unlucky, actually. Miss, two to Steve Davis. Steve Davis, 55. Cliff Thorburn, 22. Unfortunately for um, uh, Cliff, he's left the yellow ball in the perfect uh, position for a drop cannon. Eight. This Ten. time just a little cannon off the red and go in between the two balls and leave the pot. He's looking at the, you know, but the little cannon is a shot. Push the red further than he intended 12. to. Still got the in off red. Fifteen. Didn't play that well. 18. Still got the uh, yellow ball in nice position, but he's pushed the red into an awkward position. Trying to bring the uh, yellow ball back up the table to leave a cannon to try and get the red back into play. But he's short of pace again. Thinking about the in off into the centre pocket, a lot of side. Called a short Jenny. Twenty Thirty-three. Just twelve points required. Thirty-five. Thirty-eight. Forty. Just a cannon required, or even pop the red. Take your choice. 46. And it's uh, Steve Davis who uh, takes the uh, billiards uh, discipline, beating Cliff Thorburn 100 points to 22. Great play there by Steve Davis. That win sees him take the overall lead. He's now on 145 points. Cliff Thorburn, 122. To the eight ball now, game five. The scores are even, two games apiece. Steve Davis to break, Jim Maxwell and Ian Anderson are in commentary, Angie Charlton is referee. Oh, Scratch. Power break? Now I'm back to 
So Cliff has to play from the balk area and play forward of it. Oh, I've got to shoot from the other way. The only, uh, the only ball he can't play is the blue and white ten ball near the corner pocket. Uh, the rule is that um, should you go in off or scratch on the break, you must place the cue ball behind the balk line and play forward of the balk line. You could only then, well, not that he played, hit the front of the two ball. No, the two balls considered in play. On the line? It's just over the line. Mm, right. So the, the only ball that's not in play is the blue and white ten. So he could actually cue behind that. With yes, he could. Potted, yeah. mm -hmm. Not that he's going to. He's on the stripes. Positively. It's a very good shot. So the 13 along the 13. little bit awkward bridge okay. here, but 13 along the cushion into the corner. It's a very good shot. Just a fraction hard, but very good shot just the same. He, he's got the chance now to pop the 15 ball, which is the one next to the black. And also move the green six away from the black. This is the shot he'd like to play. It's just a little bit of an awkward bridge for him. Cue ball a little bit too close to the yellow. Soon. Corner. You can see the awkward bridge there. But that was the correct shot. Let's put everything into play. I don't think Cliff's going to be too happy with that shot. <sighs> and as you can see, he's not happy with it. Blunder, blunder, blunder. Not even sure if he can play the 10. <clears throat> the cube also close to the brown seven. And the 14 is uh, a very fine inside. cut indeed. And there's
There's those tricky middle pockets again. Mm. And very straight edges. Doesn't look fast and slippery on the way down. They're narrower on a normal snooker table, but they've got more rounded edges. They're rounded, uh, Jimmy, so that's the difference. One in the middle. Okay. I think he means the yellow ball in the middle. And uh, this is a uh, great opportunity here for Steve. Often referred to of having the Rolls Royce of Q actions. Six times world snooker champion and winner of just about every tournament on the circuit. Three in the corner. Three corner. But he has taken to this game of pool in recent years, hasn't he? He certainly has, and he really enjoys nine ball. He's not, uh, he's not quite so experienced with this eight ball game, and it shows because he's, uh, he's not all that confident in his choice of shot selection and that sort of thing. Six in the corner. So he's called the six and obviously going to try and put the four under the six to put it. And uh, that hasn't worked out too good. <laughs> the pink's gone down next to the blue and white ten. And perhaps he may play the brown off the pink into the corner pocket and bring the pink back into play. Seven off the four in the corner. Seven. And that's exactly what he's called. He doesn't have to nominate it like that. Beautifully played. Look at this. He's drawn it out into a lovely spot to knock it in. Hmm. Very well executed. Five in the corner. Eight in the corner. Eight corner. And Thanks, that's a three-two lead to Steve Davis over Cliff Corburn. A good win for Steve Davis. The overall scores now: Davis two hundred and twenty, Thorburn one hundred and seventy-two. Yeah, played it. <laughs> Open table. One stripey down, and he still has the choice. Three in the middle. Three in the side. He's on the babes, the small solids. Six in the corner. Six corner. Where's the eight? <laughs> <laughs> well, the difficult one for Steve actually will be the brown seven ball. He knows where the black eight is now. He's just bumped it out into the open. Now just looking to see where he can put the cue ball so he can have a shot at that brown seven. Two in, two in the, two in the corner. Two corner. Trouble at mill. Five in the corner. Five corner. Great shot. 
that. Oh. Unlucky. Aspirin's in a glass. Okay. <laughs> so not only does Steve That's have to now. get out of the snooker, he's also got to try and get the ball safe. I don't think you want to disturb the, perhaps not anyway, disturb the seven ball because it has got the nine cut off to one of the pockets. Seven in a corner. Seven corner? Well, I'm seven. joking. No, seven in the corner. <laughs> I'm surprised he's playing this. How do you miss sir? <laughs> Another kick. <laughs> Nine in the corner. That's turned out pretty well. Thirteen in the corner. Thirteen corner. Mm -hmm. Well, not too bad. There's the twelve up into the far corner. Purple and white stripe. Good shot. Okay. But now has to find position from the 11 ball to the green and white 14. 11 in the corner. 11 corner. Bad. It's got the 14 into the bottom left hand corner pocket and perhaps a little, a little cannon onto the black as well. Thorburn with Steve Davis. Cliff Thorburn's win sees the scores getting even closer. Three games all in the eight ball. The overall score so far, Steve Davis 220 points, Cliff Thorburn 197. It's anyone's match. One in. <sighs> Run away, Kim. Open table. So, uh, choice of uh, choice of many here. Seven ball. Seven ball. We'll put the clock on until that moves. Okay. Right. Keep the ball way yeah, back here, like the other guy did. Seven in the corner. 
got to have three feet away. On the side. On the side. Six in the corner. Six in the corner. <coughs> so a little bit of work still to do for Cliff Thorburn. Three corner. Fourteen, the eight ball may go into the middle pocket. He looks like he's got the position. And uh, by the way he played that, it must go past the fourteen into the, the middle. Eight side. Played Cliff Thorburn. He takes out the eight ball. Four, three. <laughs> well, Cliff Thorburn comes out the victor in the eight ball and now is two points ahead in the overall score. Steve Davis on 220 points. Cliff Thorburn, 222. The nine ball will decide the winner. <laughs> Cliff Thorburn has won the lag for the break and starts play. Thorburn to break, the nine ball. The nine can go in from the break. Doesn't happen very often. Well, something went in. Start with the lowest numbered ball, of course, in nine ball. In this case, the one, which is the yellow ball at the far end of the table. A push. Push out. Now, Cliff has uh, elected to play a push shot. He cannot score on this shot. We can just move the cue ball to anywhere on the table he likes and uh, Steve comes to the table if he's not happy with the position he's been left he can hand the shot back to Cliff and that shot can only be played immediately after the break So it looks like a safety shot coming up. Get the cue ball up near the 
267 group. Trying for a snooker. Unlucky. Pretty good result there. Has the two in the corner and cue ball almost going in the corner pocket. So he has the four here into the middle and to try and get position on, on the orange five ball. game that Steve Davis prefers. Plays quite a bit of nine ball. Thinks it's a great game. So just the nine to win the opening game. And the win that reclaims the lead. Steve Davis back into the overall lead now with that win. 245 points to Cliff Thorburn's 222. Every game now vital. So breaking off, trying to make a good spread of the balls and obviously make one on the break to retain the strike, which he's done. And uh, the one and the cue ball have come together and uh, left it in a perfect position with the blue two right next door. Now it may be the red three onto the black eight. Quite a legal shot because he's striking the lowest numbered ball first. Yes, please. So calling for the rest. Having a look at perhaps playing a cannon off the three onto the nine, but uh, a bit too dodgy. Now he can miss this. He's looking at the four under the six, but uh, he could quite easily miss it. It's not an easy shot. Not in these pockets. Well, the balls are very close together, and he's coming in from an angle. If he was straight behind the, in line with the four and six, I'd say not a problem. Oh, that's a great shot. He had to overcut that ball by quite a way to make it on. So not mucking around here tonight, Steve Davis, in the nine ball game so far. Just like shelling peas. Well, Cliff Thorburn has some catching up to do. Steve Davis taking the overall lead by 48 points. The pressure really on now. Two's in, eight's in. Another great start. But the one's not easily available. A little unlucky, the uh, orange five coming to rest in front of the one, blocking the path of the cue ball. Now a push out is not not so easy here because it's difficult to leave the cue ball in a position where it would be safe. And he may elect to come off the cushion first and hit the one.
push. Push out. He is taking the push. <coughs> well, he's left this pretty awkward. Cliff may well send him in again. He's got to hit the one ball very fine here to avoid the in off. And perhaps he's trying the double. Great shot. Well, that can't stay out. I don't believe it. Steve, Steve runs to the table. I don't think he can believe it either. So it's the red three, followed by the pink four. Followed by the green, uh, the orange five, and then the green six. <coughs> so just the seven and now the nine to take a three nil lead in this match of nine ball. Steve Davis really making things difficult for Cliff Thorburn. The overall scores now 295 to 222. Two's in, two of them are in. So he certainly got the break working for him, and uh, luck's a fortune. The one has been pushed up to the middle pocket. Clearance is on. Now one good position shot from this red three to the pink four. And could be the match winning shot. Just a little bit too far. Would prefer to have stopped about six inches before he did. Or I suppose I should be saying 15 centimetres. <laughs> because the problem now is potting the five and holding for the brown seven. He may be able to play a cannon off the five that he has. Now, perhaps a snooker, leaving the cue ball hard up behind the nine and doubling the seven across the table. Nice friendly shot. Didn't sneak around. He actually uh, got a little bit of uh, spin on backspin on the mm. cue ball. A shot. No, he hasn't got a. Has he got a direct shot at it? Yes. Well, Cliff's in a bit of trouble here. He's looking at maybe being forced into trying to cut the brown right along the side rail into the corner pocket. Big pockets. If he hits it in the right. Spot. It's one heck of a shot to make. The way he's getting up, he's uh, he's like, he is snookered on the seven. Hmm. Wow. Well. Good shot, but uh, he's unfortunately left. he's left it. 
Yes, he didn't have a clear shot from behind the, the nine ball. That was clear. And this is pretty clear, too. Wow. Look at them go. Got a fine cut here on the eight. So he needs this for a four nil win in the nine ball. Thanks, Steve. Well played. Well played, Steve Davis. Red hot in the nine ball. Well, what a great win there for Steve Davis, taking his overall score to 320 points, Cliff Thorburn, 222. Well, now that we've finished the group rounds, let's see how the players finished up. An impressive win for Quentin Hahn, top of Group A, the snooker group, on 993 points. Roxton Chapman leads Group B, the billiards group, on a comfortable 1,010 points. Oliver Ortman leads the pool group, Group C, on 1,012 points. And in the other snooker group, Group D, Steve Davis has the lead after today's win, 1,057 points. Next week, join us to see Quinton Hahn battle it out against Roxton Chapman in the first of the semi-finals. It should be a great match. We look forward to your company then. I'm Steve Rebilliard. Goodbye for now.